I'm in beautiful Oaxaca, Mexico right now. It's hot outside. It is lovely. The light's amazing down here in Mexico. I love the light. I have with me my M6 and just a 35 millimeter lens and I have a pocket full of Portra 400 film. And I'm gonna shoot a bunch of street scenes here tonight, today, but what I'm really doing here is Matt from Ravini Labs has gotten a new light meter out and he sent me one to test out. So down in this beautiful Mexican light, I'm gonna try this new uh, light meter. This is an interesting light meter because it has reflective, it has incident, it has a flash mode, and it even gives you color temperature. So I don't know how Matt thinks of all these things, but it's a really little amazing piece of kit. I'm gonna try it out, I'm gonna see how it works. We're gonna take a look at the exposures when I'm done and see if this little Ravini meter holds up to my regular meters. When I did a side-by-side -side test, I was getting the exact same results, so I think it's gonna work out pretty good. I'm in a little village here, and I'm just gonna walk around and meet people, see what I can discover. I love these little Mexican villages and Mexican towns. They're full of life, full of color, and these are kind of, being in a place like this really makes you feel alive. The first place I'm gonna to go to is they got this great big cool church behind me. We're gonna go check that out. Come on along. I love traveling around Mexico. The people, the light, the feel, the energy. It's just a wonderful place to be a photographer, a wonderful place to roam around. The people are super friendly and you're just bathed in great light and great color and great energy. One of the things about this meter is it's meant to be used strapped to your hand while you use your camera. The only thing for me though is once you take a meter reading, that meter reading is really good for the next hour or two if you're shooting in the same light. The light, if the light is not changing, you don't need this meter strapped around your hand. So oftentimes I would take it and put it in my pocket and not use it the way it's meant to be used. And when you're working with color negative film, you have a lot of latitude. If your exposure's off by a third or half a stop, you can often rescue that from the film. It's not going to make that huge of a difference. And I know the light well enough that I'm shoot if I'm shooting backlit, I know to open it up a little bit and then that will change the exposure. And oftentimes when you're street shooting, when things are moving uh, rapidly, uh, people are coming and going and you're trying to capture images, you just don't have time to take that meter reading. So oftentimes I will take the meter reading in advance and then go roam around and then take my photos and have my camera set up for that exposure meter reading. One of the things that I found, whether it was the morning, afternoon, or beautiful evening light, I found that the meter was accurate all the time. Not once was any of my exposures off when I was using the meter. For me, Mexico has always just been a warm, wonderful place to explore.
Well, one of the things that I'm trying out is this little riveting uh, meter also has a flash meter built in. It's a pretty amazing little thing. It has an incident, reflective, and a flash meter, and a color meter all built in. So I'm testing it against my Sekonic. One of the things that I found out of the box is the flash meter reading was off by about a stop and a half. So you have to go into the menu settings and then you have to adjust the settings. So you're gonna need a flash that you can trust that is going to be accurate, that you know is accurate. And I know my Sekonic is right on the money to set your this meter to the same settings as this one. It's really easy to, to do. It's just in the menu, it's one little step. But once you set up the same readings between the two, then this little flash meter works very well. Just the same as this. So I was really pleased with this meter. It is super light. It weighs practically nothing. And this meter is meant to be used wrapped around your fingers, working with your camera like this. For me personally, I ended up never using it that way. I took my meter reading, and then oftentimes I would just put the meter in my pocket and roam around. So I'm wondering, if a meter like this would be better served as like a traditional meter where it's wrapped around and hanging off your neck. That might be a better way of working, but when the light is changing, it's kind of nice to have it really close to you and available to take a meter reading really quickly. There's a couple things that I'd like to see on this meter, a couple design changes that I think would work better for me is I'd like to see two buttons. I would like to see a button that would be just to change your ISO quickly. So you would press the button and then you would go in and change your ISO. The way it's set up now is you have to go into the menu and change your ISO. And you can do that fairly quickly, but oftentimes what I found, when I, once I get into the menu, if you go the wrong way with the joystick, then all of a sudden you're in another menu and you start going deeper into the menus. And especially if you're working on the street and you're working fast, you can get a little lost in the menu system. And then I'd like to see another button. So I'd like to see two buttons, another button that would just take you into the menu that you could change your incident to flash meter reading to your reflective meter reading and then into the menus of changing your setup for how the meter works and how it reads. Like I said, when I got the meter, I had to change the settings a bit so that I could dial it into my Sekonic meter and that I could uh, take it, you know, that the, that the two meter readings would be accurate and would be, would be the same. So those are the only two things I would like to see change on this meter. I would just like to have it where you are working with the meter and it gives you your meter reading and you can't get out of that mode unless you press a button. Having said that, the meter is super light. It is only a couple hundred Canadian dollars, which is an incredible deal for what you get here. You get a flash meter reading, a reflective meter reading, you get a color, it reads color. It's really an amazing little meter wrapped up in this thing that weighs practically nothing. And that is one of the great things about this as well. It's so easy to take around with you, so easy to put in your bags. Matt has done it again with a great piece of kit. Just needs a few little refinements, but the great thing about this is that you can use this and it's gonna give you accurate meter readings for proper exposures in your photographs. Thanks for coming along to Mexico with me. I love that country. I love roaming around there. The people are wonderful. The food's great. The weather is spectacular, especially after this winter we've had here in Canada. Hope you enjoyed this. Leave me a comment, leave me a like. Let me know what you think of this little meter reading. Check it out. Uh, just to let you know, I have no affiliation with Matt or the company, and I'm not involved in this. He just sent me this just so that I could try it out and test it out and give him my thoughts. See you next time. Cheers.